Have you ever thought what an instrument runway is? Well, according to NX14, these are the type of runways intended for the operation of aircraft using instrument approach procedures. Now, the instrument approach procedures are normally given on instrument approach plates. And in the given picture, you can see how does an instrument approach plate look like. We can generally categorize the instrument runways into four different categories. It could be non-precision approach runway. It could be precision approach runway CAT1, CAT2, or CAT3. And in precision approach runway CAT3, there are again three different categories, CAT3 Alpha, 3 Bravo, and 3 Charlie. So starting off with the definition of non-precision approach runway. So this is a runway that is served by visual and non-visual aids and intended for landing operations following an instrument opera approach operation type A and visibility not less than 1000 meters. And what are instrument approach operations type A? There are two type of instrument approach operations type A and type B. If the decision height for an approach is above 250 feet, that is type A. However, if the decision height is below 250 feet, that becomes type B. Now moving on to the precision approach runway CAT-1. A CAT-1 runway is served by visual and non-visual aids and intended for instrument approach operations type B. Since I said it's intended for type B, that means the decision height should be lower than 250 feet. However, in the case of precision approach runway CAT-1, the decision height would not be less than 200 feet. And either a visibility not less than 800 meters or an RVR should not be less than 550 meters. If the criteria is met, the approach could be continued. Otherwise, this runway cannot be used. Moving on to the precision approach runway CAT-2, in this case, again, it is intended for operations type B with a decision height in between 100 to 200 feet and an RVR not less than 300 meters. Now moving on towards precision approach runway CAT-3, there are three types of runways, CAT-3 Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. In CAT-3 Alpha, the decision height would be equal to or less than 100 feet, but not less than 50 feet. However, in some cases, the decision height could be zero as well in CAT-3 Alpha if RVR is at least 175 meters. For CAT-3 Bravo runways, the decision height could be 50 feet or less than 50 feet and in some cases the decision height would be zero meters if the RVR is in between 50 to 175 meters. However, for the operations of CAT-3 Charlie runways, there is no requirement of any decision height and any RVR. This could better be understood with an illustration in a picture. Suppose an aircraft is approaching for a runway. Imagine the runway is CAT-1. So the decision height would be 200 feet, okay? If at 200 feet, the pilot is not visual with any visual reference that include approach lights, runway lights, runway itself, marking. If he's not visual, he will discontinue the approach. If the runway is CAT2, he will continue till a height of 100 feet. If he gets visual, he will continue the approach. If he is still not visual, at this height, he will take the decision to go around. Then same is the case for CAT3 Alpha, Bravo and Charlie as already told. However, if the CAT3 Charlie runway is there, if the pilot does not get visual with any visual reference, any approach light, any marking, even with the runway, with the land, nothing is required, no decision height, no RVR, the pilot can still land the aircraft safely. I hope it was easy to understand. Thank you and stay tuned.